one how are you children am i audible to all of you yeah so right it's all right audibility is there i think board is also visible right let's start now see so in the very first class of the new session first of all let me introduce myself my name is arun pande and i will take care of your botany right so before starting about the topic definitely we will discuss botany we will discuss paper and whatever the required right but before anything to start i just want to say something about the entrance examination actually what's happened student voice is coming low check it voice is coming low they are saying am i audible to everyone and uh, it is for most of people it is all right voice is okay it is audible okay so you just put ear phone i think it will come better for you okay right yeah so have a look now so what i am saying just try to understand i am not telling first 10 15 minute subject i am just talking about the temperament of the exam are you getting me so first of all first of all we will discuss about what examiner expect from us in entrance examination right actually what student do they start reading physics chemistry biology without understanding what exactly examiner is expecting from us so it is very important your work become very easy when you understand the expectations of the examiner in the entrance exam is it clear is it all right so what a normal student think i will just take 15 minute in all this then we will come on the topic what a normal student think ki in entrance examination examiner want to check my physics my chemistry my biology right just remove it i think someone coming transcriptions enable right okay so decline it okay ha huh. so what i am saying student think like examiner want to judge my physics chemistry and biology how much smart i am in the subject i am sorry to say children examiner is not at all much interested in your physics chemistry and biology they of course they ask the question from physics chemistry and biology but indirectly they want to judge your personality they ask the question from the subject okay they ask the question from the subject but they want to judge your personality i will give the answer of your every chat but in the last in between what's happen rhythm is going to break so if i just indulge in answering your chat definitely i can't focus on what i am delivering so in the last 10 minute what the question are you have related to courses and whatever is it definitely i will take care of that i will just work on it is it it or not so first listen me very carefully right definitely that a request from you all of you listen me very carefully you will definitely got a good idea as regarding the exam in the very first session so what i told you are thinking examiner will check our physics our chemistry our biology what i am saying examiner is not at all interested in your physics chemistry and biology it really a contradictory word i am saying physics chemistry biology is going to ask i am asking what i am telling what examiner is not interested in all this then what examiner is uh, expecting from us by asking the question from physics chemistry and biology examiner evaluate your personality they check your personality 
they check how are you as a human being then another question may come in your mind sir how can anybody can check my personality by asking the question from physics chemistry and biology of course people can check it how i will prove it okay so your personality is made up of three component patience p stand for patience here second mental ability means your decision making right mental ability say about what how you make a decisions in your life patience is going to say about what how cool are you what is about your temperament your positivity your negativity and third thing is analytical ability is your iq so your personality is made up of three component patience mental ability and analytical ability capacity of analyze right means checking your iq analytical ability means testing of your intelligence your iq okay so examiner ask the question from physics chemistry and biology in neat exam but by asking the question from physics chemistry and biology they want to evaluate your patience your mental ability your analytical ability okay now you will ask sir why examiner is interested in my patience my mental ability my iq how it will help us in future what is the need of a patient to become a good doctor and how examiner check the patients by asking the question from biology physics and chemistry these are the such 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 questions may arising in your mind na ki how what is the need of patients what is patients and how examiner check the patients by asking the question from subject what is the need of patients in my future life if i don't have patients i am not going to become a good doctor such such questions is there in your mind na let me clarify every point so that is the reason i am telling first 15 20 minute you listen very patiently it will give you a better idea about the exam and dear children it is very important to understand the nature of the examination before simply opening the book and reading nowadays when people play a game they make a strategy it is important to be a strategic na it is a serious work we are doing not a game in game people make a strategy it is a career so strategy important is very important to understanding the nature of examination is very important right so have a look patience i am telling you patience patience means how cool are you patience means to do such job in a very efficient manner in which you don't have any interest is it it now i am telling you the work routine of a doctor after 6 7 year after your mbbs after your md when you sit in a hospital what will be your routine look it here you are sitting here there is a table here it is a patient now suppose that you are md medicine try to understand children you are md medicine a patient came with fever cold cough what you will say you will just ask the history what problem you have since how long you have open your mouth so your tongue take the deep breath you will stand up and take uh, look that patient with the stethoscope then counsel them then write the medicine blah blah these are the activity you will do not with a one patient every day with 100 patient every day with 50 patient every day with 70 patient you find like it is really interesting to do tell me yes or no is it really interesting to do every day 100 patient when you go in a hospital for 10 20 minute you get fed up a doctor is sitting entire day a long queue is there and they are just with a smile serving everyone they are not putting zip on the mouth yaar i am getting tired oh problem is there come go eat the medicine don't talk more you prefer to go to such doctor tell me yes or no you want to prefer to go with such doctor there is a zip in the mouth you want na doctor take care me with a great smile well talk with me listen me then 
ventil uh, properly these things you want or not want of course you want and then only we become a good doctor what these all things require patience or not tell me yes or no without patience can you serve every day 100 people now dear children you tell me why not examiner will check it you are damn intelligent but you don't have patience you are useless you are useless fellow your intelligence will not intelligence will not help the society i am very intelligent doctor but i am not listening the patient i am not giving proper time to the patient you can't be a good doctor why not examiner check this quality in you tell me is it required for your profession or not is it required for my profession or not suppose that i am a good teacher it may be I interacted for some of you, so not interacted with some of you. I am very good in teaching, but I don't repeat the things. Whenever you ask, sir, I don't understand it. I just going to humiliate you. Next time, will you come to ask the question? Of course, no. I can't serve you better. In my profession, equally, what required? Patience required. Are you agree or not? And not a single profession is there where patience not required. And that is the reason, in every examination, wherever you go in the life, examiner, frame the question in such a way, they check your patience. Are you getting the idea? If you don't have patience, you will not got a seat. That is very definite. Because if you don't have patience, you can't become a good doctor. So examiner, frame the paper in such a way, ki only the person who have a great patience got the seat, otherwise they not got the seat. Okay, G, you got the idea, you got the importance of the patience. You got the importance of the patience or not? Tell me, hurry up, yes or no? Yes. Now the next question. Now the next question you can ask, sir, how can anybody, anybody can check my patience by asking the question from physics, chemistry and biology? Another question definitely came in your mind. Na? How can anybody can check the patience? By asking the question from subject. Let me tell you. I am telling you. Okay. So. Factual nature of question. <coughs> by asking which question? By asking. Fact based question. Factual question. In these factual question. No concept is there. Only information is there. No concept is there. This year in NEET, I am just taking an example. Kairagin is obtained from red algae, green algae, brown algae. What the answer will come? This is a NEET question of this year or not? Tell me dear children. Kairagin is obtained from red algae, green algae or brown algae? Answer came red algae. Most of the students have answered red algae. Someone have told brown algae. But correct answer is red algae. Now you tell me, to answer this question, any concept required? Any concept required? No. What required then? You tell me. What required then? Repeated revision. Agree or not? If you revise it as many time, as many time, your perfection in this area become more. Is it right? Is it true? Na? You got very perfect in that area when you go for a repeated, repeated, repeated revision. Mugging up is an interesting job or boring job? I hope it is a boring job in my opinion. Understanding is really enjoyable. Mugging up is a boring job. Do you find in NEET 30% question is there which required mugging up activity? I can prove it. I can count the question of the biology. Ki these require mugging up, not any concept. If you mug up it, you will do it. If you not mug up it, you will not do it. Around 30% of the question which require mugging up. And what is the problem of mugging up activity? You will do it today, you will forget after 10 days. Student came to us, sir, I did it, sir. I not able to keep in our mind, sir. I forget this thing. 
it is not your illness only it is the illness of everyone everyone forget even as a teacher we forget the factual area when we came in class to teach we read the things then we enter the example not going to overlap that is the fact we are teaching from 20 year beside of that we are revising are you getting the idea because there is no logic behind simply information is there Suppose that anybody going to ask you, Kaji Ranga National Park is in which state? It may be a probable question of need. Any concept required? Tell me, answer it. Kaji Ranga National Park is in which state? Hurry up. One have answer Gujarat, another have answer Rajasthan. Both are wrong answer. Kaji Ranga National Park is in which state? Carry on, children. Someone wrote Satisgarh, some, ha, Assam is the correct answer. Assam is the correct answer, right? It any concept required, dear children? No, information, fact, mugging up required. And if you are smart in mugging up, which quality you have? Tell me, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You have a lot of patience. You, it requires a lot of patience in mugging up job. No brain required, only patience required. Only commitment required. And honestly tell me, you, many of you are here listening the class, lose many questions this year which are factual in nature. Is it true or not? We not feared from the concept, dear children. We fear from you make a factual mistake. You made a factual mistake. If you understand genetics, never you make a wrong answer. Physiology, we not feared. Biotechnology, we not fear. We fear where? Ki my student, if they not mug up, Morphology, example of plant kingdom, they lose the marks. Because your role is more there. Repeated revision, revision, revision. We can taught one time, two time. But your, your involvement is more there. But you missed it. Why? Yeah, I will do in the last. And that last day never come. Got the idea, dear children? Understanding the idea? So if you really want such kind of a score this year, Right. These things must be at the level of great perfection. Ki I will never make a factual mistake. And how it will possible? When I am saying children, it is important. You have to do it. Not one time, as many times. I am asking a question. Which perfection required here? Tell the answer of the question. Hurry up. I wrote a question. Two, two, ja. Answer it fast. Four. Thirteen eight is Carry on. One not four. It takes a lot of time to answer the second question. Dear children, two two is a four level of perfection required. Then it will come in your reflex action. You have seen this year biology? It was a lengthy paper. If things is not in a level of perfection in your mind, you can't come on an answer very fastly. Got the idea? So how you can speed up the answering the question when you have a great perfection like 2, 2, 4. 13, 8, you have given the correct answer 1, not 4, but it is not acceptable. You have taken three times more to answer the second question. 13, 8, you have taken 6, 7, 8 seconds. Two two ja, you just did it very faster. Got the idea? So these perfection required, these perfection not required. Many times a student came to me and asked, sir, I am not able to handle all the question in the given time. What to do, sir? How to do the question faster, sir? Doing question faster doesn't mean what? You read the question faster. Otherwise, you will read wrongly. What is the best approach? Your reflection must be smart, and that come by the revision. Clear, children? It, it must be in your reflex action. Two, two, ja, four. If anybody going to ask it, diadelphus condition present in which family? Not going to confuse your diadelphus, either solen AC, five AC, brassic AC, or a lily AC. It must be on a reflex set. Nine plus one arrangement. Two bundle, diadelphus present in five AC. It must in the reflex age. Are you getting the idea? In your reflex action. Then a score, big score stand. Otherwise, what happened? I know 
most of you are sitting here know the subject but you mistake due to what lack of the confidence lack of the revision got the idea a certain reason is easy we will take care of it don't worry i will tell you the tricks of the a certain reason also explanation is there or not there don't worry it is easy area we will look after that meanwhile we are coming on the another respects let me finish it so you got how examiner check the patients why examiner check the patients you got the idea first approach over or not over tell me children first thing over or not over over yes clarity came when i was a student <laughs> as a student i also felt your to becoming a doctor what is the need of morphology what is the need of anatomy why they are asking uh, which one crop improvement cockroach earthworm what is the need of all this you got what is the need of all this to check your patients that many thing have no relevance in medicine but to check your patients it is a tools they ask the factual question they ask the factual sequence the question getting the idea is it clear in the mind so i think the first area is over from now you will not ask a question to us sir these all are boring why examiner is asking you got why they are asking for them it is not a subject for them it is a tools to check the patients when you prepare many of you in future want to become an ias officer when you prepare for that exam there they will ask the gk from class 6 to 12 what is the role of gk in administration is there any role they also ask this question pani pat first world war held between whom and whom in which year to check the patients because these are memory based things and memory based thing require a lot of patients to do who don't have patience who are short temper they are not smart in this area so we look on that please take care of this area clear all right so first area over now second area i am coming what the second part of personality i told what is the second part of your personality i told first part i told your patience how cool are you second your mental ability mental ability right without mental ability you can't move a single step in your profession right suppose that you are a doctor i am asking a situational question you are a doctor you are alone in a hospital a day no any other doctors are there you are only and you are handling a critical patient right handling a critical patient a politician came local mla bleeding from the hand when a politician came 2020 people also came and they are forcing you dr garu please take care of that mla sir if you engage in looking on the mla what happened a pp patient who are very critical may die and if you not look at the mla not going to take care of the mla he become angry he may make, make if you are government in a government hospital he make an arrangement of your transfer what you will do in such case situation how can you handle the situation it is a very small situation i asked how can you handle that situation dear children tell me hurry up is it written anywhere from first year to final year in bbs book no written na one student writing tell mla to wait do you find he will wait he is a powerful person and powerful person have a lot of ego <coughs> so how to handle that situation you have to know na you have to know that art na and who give it mental ability it is a it is a profession who require a lot of mental skill every patient will come in a critical condition you have to mentally cool calm then you have to handle it got the idea understand the idea why not examiner will check it what will be the answer i will tell you later but why not examiner will check it it is a part of your profession na certain time you are doing surgery a 18 20 year boy die in the operation theater to answer the bell wisher your well wish uh, attendant your bell wisher is no more it require a lot of courage a lot of mental skill how to talk how to say got the idea is it clear 
So it is a profession which is very responsible, which requires patience also, which requires a mental skill also. An examiner judge it. Right, certain time what's happened? Examination is nothing, it is a psychological hammering. Many times in neat exam, a very easy question will come. To feel like, oh, it is a prestigious exam, how easy question can come? It may be some twist are there and you make that easy question wrong. Okay, understood? So I am asking a question. Try to answer it. Try to answer this question. Let me write. Here I am writing a question. A scurvy, you heard about the name? Is caused by? First option, vitamin C. Second option, vitamin B. Third option, vitamin A. Fourth option, none of these. Answer it. What will be the answer of this question? <coughs> Many are in favor of vitamin C. One, I think most of the people are in favor of vitamin C. Few students are in favor of none of these. So the correct answer is none of these. Few students are in favor of none of these. And the correct answer is none of these. Right? A scurvy is not caused by vitamin C. It is caused by deficiency of vitamin C. If the word written, a scurvy is caused by deficiency of, then what will be the correct answer? Vitamin C. Okay? C don't cause scurvy. C deficiency of C cause scurvy. Clear or not? So what the correct answer will come? None of these will come as a correct answer. Clear? You got the idea? Do you think it is a testing of biology? I am sorry to say no. A sixth class student know about scurvy. You mug up it. A, night blindness, B, very, very related, C, scurvy, D, rickets, you think, mug up from the 5, 6 class, na? And can you believe, dear children, these questions asked in already asked in All India Institute of Medical Science, PG entrance. Postgraduate exam, MDMS exam, leave your exam. You got the idea? Do you find they want to check the doctors know the scurvy or don't know? As a scurvy came in our mind, we start to searching where is vitamin C? We find, oh, very easy question. Are you getting the things? This year also a question came. I will show when I will discuss the question. They trapped you with the words. I will say, show you the question when I will discuss. So, how examiner check the mental ability, you got the idea, how the question, which kind of question they ask. They ask very easy, very tricky questions sometimes. Is it clear? Understood? Right? So what is the importance of mental ability in profession, you got the idea? It is a part of your personality. And they are asking the question from subject and they check your mental ability. Very easy question. Somehow with the twist. If you talk in the language of cricket, it is a googly. You find like it is damn easy and you are getting clean bold. Right? Okay. Now, now come on the last area. Analytical ability. It is the testing of your IQ. How intelligent are you? Intelligency also required, na? Intelligency also required, of course. Decision making. Of course. Diagnosis of the disease require a lot of intelligence. Got the idea? So, how the examiner check your intelligence? Try to answer this question. I am asking a question. <coughs> Suppose that in a diagram, examiner show you three cat. A small cat and big cat ear. And it is a small cat, medium cat, big cat ear. They are showing the cat head part and showing the ear part. One have a small ear, another have medium size ear, another have big ear. And there are three countries, India, Jaire and Norway. An examiner is telling you match of the following, which cat will reside in which country. Answer it. 
three cat are there, one have a small ear, another have medium size ear, another have a long ear. And there are three countries, India, Jaire, Norway. Which cat will reside in which country? Change the color. Okay, I am changing the color. A small cat ear, medium cat ear, big cat ear, India, Jaire, Norway. Hurry up children. Norway have a small cat, a small ear cat, someone writing India have a small ear cat. Is there any logic behind? Jaire have a small ear cat, I think three different answer is coming. So this question is based on your ecology, Ellen's rule, yeah, Ellen's rule. In colder climatic condition, organism have shorter extremities. You have studied or not studied? In co colder area, leg, hand, extremities are smaller. Why? To prevent the excessive loss of the heat. Yes, the children? Got the idea? Right? So now, there is another twist. I checked your geography also. I checked the geography or not. Norway have coldest climatic condition. It is in uh, near the pole. So Norway have a small cat. Jaire is a country in Africa and it is on equator. So it is testing of biology and geography both, na? right? So Jaire have which one? Big ear cat. Clear or not? From India, who pass? Tropic of Cancer pass. Right. Climatic condition moderate in between Jaire and Norway. So in India, which kind of cat will be reside? Medium cat will reside. What the idea? So these are some of the indirect question with certain logic. And by asking such nature of question, examiner want to check your IQ. Most of the question of physics to check your IQ, your intelligence, how better IQ you have, how you are more smarter, intelligent than the others. So if anybody check your patience, check your mental ability, check your IQ or analytical ability, means that person have checked your entire personality or not. So written examination is also the personality test, dear children. You got the idea? Written examination is also the testing of your personality. How good are you as a human being? Able to understand. Examiner can check you by asking question from anywhere. Okay. Many times people have a different intention, but they are asking a different question. When in a marriage ceremony, bride, grooms, Getting the things or not? Or groom's family meet with each other. The mother of groom asked the bride a question. What is your name? A formal introduction. It is written in initial bio data. Why you are asking? But when you are asking a name to a people, you are checking many things. I'm asking, what is your name? You are answering, sir, my name is X. Means it is clear. Your audibility is okay. You are, you can listen. And if you are saying, sir, my name is X, then you can speak. So your vocal cord, your audibility and speakability, both are okay. So asking name, solving two indirect intention. So same happen in the entrance exam. You are thinking examiner is checking my physics, chemistry, biology. Examiner is checking something else. The biology, physics, chemistry is a tools only. Clear or not? So that area over or not? You understand the temperament of the exam, why examiner expect, what examiner expect. Now I am coming on topic. <coughs> now see, in the very first class, we are going to discuss the paper. And not only discussing the paper, I just want to show you what mistake you did and why this mistake happened. Because until and unless you will not understand your mistakes, you can't eradicate it. 
I know every one of you have this paper. Beside of that, I prefer to discuss it. There is certain reason behind. Okay. Got the idea? I just want to show you nothing was difficult. Somehow paper was simply lengthy. And it is even not much lengthy if you have a very good reflexage. Got the idea? I think something is there. Let me decline it first. <clears throat> What coming? Hmm. So let's start now. <coughs> Board is visible to you? Yes. See, purpose of the discussion is to show you where there was not a scope of mistake, where there was a scope of mistake, what we have to do so mistake never happen. This is the intention of the paper discussion. I know paper with all of you, you wrote the exam. It may be many of you got 320, 340, I also know it. Beside of that, I am discussing. Is it clear? Board is not clear. It is for all not clear. It is for all not clear. Or for um, most of you, it is clear. Board is clear or not? Tell me, hurry up first. Clear. Little blur. Zoom if it is possible. Let me try. Is it all right now? Is it okay? Yes. Now let's start. Okay, G. Have a look now. So the very first questions uh, we are going it maybe it is different from the uh, code to code. I have taken a particular paper code. So the very first question is uh, which of the following is not a method of x e2 conservation? It is a damn easy question, children. Are you agree or not? It is a damn easy question. You know x e2 or in c2? When we conserve anything in its natural habitat, it is called in c2. When we conserve anything outside of its natural habitat, in human care, it is called XC2, right? When organisms are highly endangered, I am asking a question, you will go for a NC2 or XC2? Highly endangered organism, you will go for which conservation, in or X? X, we will keep in human care, we will keep in human care. Able to understand, we will not left them in the wild. In in situ conservation, we don't interfere with the animal who conserved there. They are dealing their natural life. Able to understand. Suppose that in a forest, 100 tigers are there, we will go for in situ. Because number are more. But only two tigers are there. It may be they may die due to certain diseases. Na? And we are not able to understand. Okay. So in that case, we will... Keep it out of the forest and keep in a zoo or in a human management. We are giving them food. Suppose the tiger is not able to hunt. They die due to hunger. You are getting the idea. So in the critical situation, we go for XC2. When population is considerably good, we go for which C2? In C2. So example of in C2 conservation, you know now. How many are example of in C2 conservation? Put your answer, hurry up fast. How many are example of in-situ conservation? Three. What are the name? Hurry up, children. What are the name? Carry on. I just want to involve yourself. What are the name of in-situ? National Park, Biosphere Reserve. Getting the things or not? Biosphere Reserve, National Park, Wildlife Sanctuary. Getting the things or not? Hotspot area is a, in, in a particular area, but in, in which one basically? National park. So, XC2 conservation, botanical garden, zoological park, cryo preservation, micro propagation, in vitro fertilization. So, which is not a method of, which is not a method of, which one? which is not a method of XC2 conservation national park. It is a method of in-situ conservation. 
it is taken care by which one zoology sir it is a common area that is the reason i discussed it is common in botany and zoology so i discussed now come on the second question it is also a easy question if you mistaken i am surprised why you mistaken it given below are two statement statement number 1 the primary co2 acceptor in c4 plant is phosphoenol pyruvic acid and found in mesophyll cell exactly true or false tell me hurry up primary co2 acceptor in c4 plant is which one pep and they are present in mesophyll cell what is the product producing pp react with h2co3 and form what product hurry up write the name oxaloacetic acid very good so first statement is a correct statement second statement second statement mesophyll cell of c4 plant lack rubisco enzyme right they are asking in the light of above statement choose the correct statement tell me second statement is wrong or true mesophyll cell of c4 plant lack rubisco enzyme it is also a true statement now i am asking another question why rubisco is absent in mesophyll cell who will answer it i change the question now leave it it is answer is also written why rubisco is present in absent in mesophyll cell i am not asking it is present in bundle set cell i am asking why it is absent in mesophyll cell who will answer it yeah good one good one one student have answer to avoid photorespiration very good very good answer because in mesophyll cell grana is present in grana pigments are there they absorb the light light reaction occur photolysis of water occur oxygen will evolve with concentration of oxygen will evolve and rubisco is present who will occur photorespiration will occur so to avoid photorespiration it may be next year neat they ask the another question ki why rubisco is absent in which mesophyll cell so what the one liner answer you will give to avoid photo respiration okay children you got the idea it not the next year same is going to ask next third one third one zoology here taken care by your zoology teacher now i am coming on the fourth see what happened this year in neat they a student who have a broader idea who can do it who don't have a broader idea of the subject they just struggled means you just look at this question if you have a idea about heartwood and sapwood you can answer this question in a better way if you don't have a idea about heartwood and sapwood you can't answer it can you tell me the difference between three different i will come on the question i will come on the question but before that i am asking can you tell me three difference between heart and heart heartwood and sapwood you already did your second year you already wrote the needs so i think uh, it is fair enough to ask question any time so heartwood and sapwood three difference i am asking heartwood are centrally located sapwood are peripherally located first difference over heartwood is dark brown in color sapwood is light brown in color heartwood is simply dead part it provide pillar like structure only mechanical support only no conduction occur through heartwood through sapwood who occur conduction occur right heartwood what happen xylem vessels are blocked due to deposition of secondary metabolite getting the idea like resin tannin they are just going to deposit into which one vessels and they block the vessels and due to that reason they become dark brown in color and they also repel the termite heartwood is good for furniture making sapwood is not good for furniture making getting the things is it clear in the mind so these are the some basic difference between heartwood and sapwood if you have that much information only you can answer this question very easily then it become a easy questions for you getting the idea so now come on the question so what the question is there some clerical mistake is there in the typing i am just cutting that line and it is not hold in old tree it not hold so during typing some error occur human error are always possible right so 
in old tree the greater part of secondary xylem is dark brown and resistance to insect attack due to how to handle this question many students do what mistake the, they read the option and check here no it is going to waste your lot of time you just put it tick and cross and then check here ki which one is matching by, with my answer don't match your answer according to option see the option according to answer given by you right it will save your time so sec secretion of secondary metabolite and their deposition in the lumen of vessels this statement is a correct statement let me check the another color okay ji second statement deposition of organic compound like tannins and resin in central layer of a stem it is also correct first second both are correct one and two a and b you can say deposition of suberin and aromatic substances in outer layer of a stem true or false third statement is true or false t or f correct or incorrect false why it is false why it is false it should be inner layer it is written outer layer that is the reason it is wrong statement clear or not now fourth statement deposition of tannin not gun it is gum resin and aromatic substances in the peripheral layer of the stem is it true or false d is true or false d is also false why it is false because here also it is written which layer peripheral layer it must be central layer and it have no relevancy with these characters it have no relevancy with dark brine and resistance to insect e statement have no relevancy presence of parenchyma cell functionally active xylem element and essential oil that have not relations with which one dark brown and resistance to insect so it is also a which one false statement so who is the only true statement a and b look in the option where a and b is there and you tick it you move ahead so only three four difference between hardwood and sapwood you can handle such kind of question okay children now let me move ahead now let's come on the next hanji next also a easy question if anybody have idea about three four difference between apoplast and symplast they can answer it transport in plast apoplast symplast everybody know no or not no you tell me right now the three four difference between apoplast and symplast i am helping you out because it will take a lot of time to type by you because you are not in the class right now here na you are listening long uh, which one online so typing require a lot of time so have a look so apoplast leaving or non leaving pathway apoplast is non leaving pathway symplast leaving pathway apoplast rapid symplast slow apoplast occur through cell wall and intercellular space in symplast movement occur through what cell membrane protoplasm and plasmodesmata in apoplast no barrier is there up to endodermis apoplast occur only up to endodermis no barrier is there because cell wall is permeable apoplast have a limitation it can't cross the which one casparian strip able to understand or not is it clear so up to casparian strips water came by both apoplast and symplast after casparian strips only by symplast got the idea okay ji so i am justifying every options have a look now so apoplast and see it is a very tricky question why it become a tricky question which of the following is not observed during apoplastic pathway and here they try to trap you by english word the movement does not involve here also not here also not you can cancel like not not here student confused the movement does not involve with the article not observed so does not involve crossing of cell membrane during apoplast water and mineral do not cross the cell membrane so this statement become a which one correct statement first statement become a correct statement apoplast is a passive process right no atp no energy expenditure required during apoplastic movement symplast is mostly active process 
and it is added by cytoplasmic streaming. Who is added by cytoplasmic streaming? Symplast, not the apoplast. So second statement is a wrong statement. It is applicable for symplast. It is not applicable for which one? Okay, ji, right? So movement is added by cytoplasmic streaming. These are not observed during apoplast. This statement observed during simplast. So it is the correct answer. Now one student wrote, justify the third statement. I am justifying children. Look, apoplast is continuous and does not provide any barrier to water movement. You look, look here. This is epidermis, it is cortex, it is endodermis, here it is Casparian strip. So water move up to the Casparian strips without any barrier. Na? Because cell wall is permeable. Cell wall is permeable. If I draw a different diagram, look here. You will understand in a more better way. Let me draw another diagram. Have a look. See here. It is epidermis. It is epidermis. It is cortex. It is cortex. It is endodermis. And here it is which one? Casparian strips. Now water coming from here. Any barrier is there in the water movement up to endodermis, Casparian strips? No, because cell wall is permeable. Intercellular space is a space. And that is the reason they have written this particular line, third line. Apoplast is continuous and does not provide any barrier to water movement. Is it clear in the mind? Same plast have a barrier. Why? Plasma membrane. Plasma membrane is selectively permeable. So they allow the solvent and selected solute. They reject some, they select some. But cell wall don't have a power of selection and rejection. It is a permeable structure. Is it clear? The third line is justified or not justified? Who asked it? One student asked, sir, justify third option. You got your answer? So, apoplast is up to Casparian strips only, na? Of course, Casparian strips is a barrier. But after that, who not occur? Apoplast not occur. Who occur? Simplast occur. As long apoplast is occur, no barrier is there, na? Apoplast occur up to only what? Endodermis, na? Casparian strips, na? Up to there, any barrier is there? And same plast have barrier at every step. Every time they have to cross the plasma membrane. Got? Now next. Movement of water occur through intercellular space and wall of the cell. It is also correct for apoplast. Clear? So the 105. It is a good question. But for whom there is a very clear idea about the difference between apoplast and simplast. It is a very easy question. Okay children. Now come on the next. Question number 106. Okay, G. What is the 106? Assertion. Assertion is very, very, very easy. PCR is used in DNA amplification. True or false? PCR is a method of gene amplification. We increase the number of copy of the genes. Got the idea? It involves how many steps? Three steps. Denaturation, annealing, extension. Last year need question. Getting the idea or not, right? Now, first statement is true. What is your opinion about second statement? Second statement is really an intelligent framing. If you don't have concept, you can't answer the second statement. It requires concepts. The ampicillin resistance gene is used as a selectable marker to check transformation. These words require the concept. Okay, see, right? See, when you have studied biotechnology, dear students, you must study it like this. In a culture medium, two type of bacteria are there. I'm not teaching entire process. I'm just writing the answer because we are discussing the paper. It is a half an hour work. So I'm not investing half an hour in this one. I'm just giving you a basic idea. Two type of bacteria is there. NT and T. Non-transformant and transformant. Transformant you have studied. It is of two possible type. 
non recombinant and recombinant you have studied like this so non transformant don't have resistivity against any antibiotic no ampicillin resistivity no tetracycline resistivity non recombinant have resistivity against both ampicillin and tetracycline tetracycline resistivity recombinant have resistivity against ampicillin but no resistivity against tetracycline these things you have studied this is the question based from here now in culture medium two type of bacteria is there one is non transformant non transformant who don't got the plasmid and transformant who got the plasmid so when we add ampicillin in the culture medium who will die all non transformant will die and all transformant will survive so who is helping you to check either who is transformant or who is non transformant so ampicillin resistance gene is helping you to check to differentiate between transformant and non transformant and it is a correct statement you got the idea so this is the question from here pvr 322 that paragraph and in this paragraph many student struggle am i right or wrong many student struggle they simply say while teaching yes sir i got it but fact is what their understanding is poor so these statement is really a good co statement and a good questions so how the answer came true you got the idea i will explain it i will explain it while teaching don't worry i will explain it in very detail way got the idea meanwhile we are discussing the paper okay so these non transformant transformant recombinant non recombinant everything we will discuss i commit you we will never make a mistake in this area be not fear from concepts we fear from your factual mistake only you will do a blunder in the very easy question getting the idea okay conceptually you become smart don't worry next hanji next question come on <clears throat> One not seven, yeah. One not seven. Which of the following statement is not true regarding gel electrophoresis? It is easy, na. In gel electrophoresis, what about the first statement? What about the first statement? The separated DNA fragment are stained by using ethidium bromide. Is it true or false? It is a correct statement. second statement the presence of chromogenic substances give blue color dna band blue color colony it is not related to gel electrophoresis we use chromogenic substances in blue white screening insertional inactivation beta galactosidase are you getting the idea is it clear there you studied na blue color means non recombinant white color means recombinant is it clear so these are the line not associated with whom gel electrophoresis so it is a incorrect answer bright orange color band of dna can be observed in gel electrophoresis when exposed with uv light correct you have said it is a line of ncert fourth statement the process of extraction of separated dna strand from gel is called elution it is also a true statement now i am asking what is spooling dear children what is a spooling who will tell me what what is a spooling and what is elution what is the difference between the two dna removal after treating with chilled ethanol precipitating it is called what a spooling and after cutting the dna in the gel with the help of restriction enzyme when we are removing the dna fragment it is called elution now i am asking you another question it is somehow tricky what we do first elution or spooling what we do first elution or spooling what is the still arrange in the sequence first we perform a spooling then we perform elution first we remove the dna then we add in the sample loading well of the gel plate then cut by the enzyme after that following of the current then dna band will segregate 
and after that we perform what? Illusion. So what is the sequence of a step? First spooling, then illusion. You got the idea? So when you are knowing the things, know all the paraphernalia. You got the idea? It is also over. It is also over. Come on the next. Ha. See. I am saying you one thing. This is the question. How easy is it? But you know, many of you did it wrong due to your casual approach. Honestly, tell me, anybody did it wrong or not? Say honestly, doesn't, uh, there is no any problem to be honest. Any student are listening to the lecture who made this question wrong? Yeah, good one. One student accepted I did it wrong, sir. Actually, what happened? Actually, what's happened? It is simply we just take it granted. What happened? What the child psychology I'm telling you? What the student psychology? When they start PGR, they just read very focused about oxygen, first hormone. Oxygen asks this, 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 this function, sir. When moving toward ethylene, you are asking, yeah, tell me about ethylene. What most of the students say? Sir, gas is PGR. Next answer, what the students say? Sir, ripening of fruit. If you ask more question of the ethylene, more function of the ethylene, sir, don't know. It is a line of NCRT. Got the idea? Got the idea? It is a line of the test book. So the gaseous plant growth regulator means they are asking about ethylene. What they do? They promote root growth and root hair formation and increase the absorption surface area. It is a line of NCRT. It causes triple response. It causes thinning of cotton. It is there or not? So many functions are there given in NCRT. Eight, ten functions given in NCRT about ethylene. So if you write, I told na, always I say your favorite, some of the some of the student favorite movies RRR, right na? So these RRR keep in your life. How? R for read, R for revise, R for recall. If you close your eye in last of the exam and recall the function of ethylene, Okay, this is first function, this is second function, this is third function, fourth function, five function, and if you do it ten times. There is any scope, this type of question, I will make a mistake. Tell me, any scope is there if I remove, do it 10 times all the function, getting the things. Is it possible I will do a, any mistake? From ethylene, this time two question was there. Got the idea? But we miss it. Why? We just are somehow become impatient. And biology, we take it granted. Okay, I will do the last biology. No any subject is easy subject children. All are equally important. And all subject have their own challenges. If you ignore any subject, subject will ignore you. Getting the things. So B, if you work very seriously, 350 is very easy in biology. If you are not very committed and serious, it is not a joke. Right. So the first answer is the correct answer. Now come on the second option. Help to overcome apical dominance. It is the function of whom? Hurry up. Who helped to overcome apical dominance? Oxygen cause apical dominance. Cytokinin help to overcome apical dominance. In that way, oxygen and cytokinins are antagonistic hormone, opposite hormone. Oxygen want plant grow in height, up. Cytokinin want who grow? Branch grow more. What the idea? So we, we want more branch. We remove the cap, decapitation. So branching will grow. When we want plant grow in height, we cut the branch. Plant grow in height. Got the idea? So apical dominance caused by oxygen. Right? Lateral branching promoted by cytokinin. So in this, oxygen and cytokinin are opposite. So answer is not oxygen. Help to uh, help overcome apical dominance. Correct answer is cytokinin. Now third option. Tell me the answer. Kill dicot weeds in the field. Who kill dicot weeds? 
2,4-D, right? It's a kind of auxin. A speed up the malting process. Who do it? Who speed up the malting process? Zibrelic acid. Can I ask a difficult question? Can I ask a difficult question? May I, if you allow? Yes, children? Yeah. So tell me how zibralic acid increase the malting process. Who will answer it? If someone asks a question, how zibralic acid speed up the malting process, what the answer will you give? Carry on. How it increases the malting process? Anybody can answer this question? So actually, I am giving the answer of the question, how it increases the malting process. There is an enzyme alpha amylase. Productivity is induced by zebralic acid. Zebralic acid induces the productivity of an enzyme. What is the name? Alpha amylase. And these alpha amylase convert starch into maltose. And these conversion is what? Malty. You got the idea? So you will not simply mug up the thing. If you are somehow conceptually good in a malting, simply student mug up, increase malting process. They don't know what is malting, how it increase malting. You got that? Antagonist means opposite. Three terms is written in NCRT. Antagonist, synergist, and individualistic. Individualistic means independent. Synergy means support. Antagonist means oppose. Three terms are written about the plant hormone in your NCRT. Okay, G? Now, next. Next question is very easy question. Many times this question also reflect in your paper, weekly test, grant test, everywhere. What amount of energy is released from glucose during lactic acid fermentation? Nothing, I think difficulty level super zero. Very zero. Now what the answer will come? What the answer will come? Carry on. Line, direct line of NCRT. What is the answer? Less than 7%. It is a very easy question. Now next. So what you are observing, why we are discussing the question, what you are observing during the question solving, ki your things was easy. I did a small, 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 small mistakes. And if I just somehow more serious, work somehow more, revise somehow more, my score is going to enhance by fold. So these are the small blunders I did. Got the idea? Now, this is a question. It is, uh, you can say, ridiculous. In a year, NTA not able to frame an error-free paper. That going to prove. This is a wrong question framed by the NTA. Here all the options are correct. And no any answer is the correct options. Okay, ji? So it is a blunder done by the examiner, paper setter. They not went through proof reading properly to the of the paper. All the statements are correct. When solving the paper, I have gone through it twice. And trying to match the answer, no one is matching. Then finally we decide question is wrong. Or anybody can tell me the you no, know, no, no, sir, question is not right. If anyone in the favor of that, tell me which answer you are finding is wrong. All the statement is right here. Anybody want to prove any statement as a wrong statement? Yes, children? No one writing anything? All are right, na? Are you agree? All statements are correct here. And no option is there where it is written all the statements are correct. So this is a wrong question. It must be bonus add marks 
given by NTA in this question. Look here. It is written, first option, in root, xylem and phloem in a vascular bundle are arranged in alternate manner along the different radii. You better know. In root, who is there? Radial vascular bundle are there. Here it is, xylem, phloem. Getting the things or not? Xylem, phloem. Xylem and phloem is present in different radius. In root, we report like this. So the first statement is correct. Conjoint closed vascular bundle do not pass cam pauses cambium. This is a conjoint and closed vascular bundle. Xylem, phloem, no cambium in between. It is a character of monocotyl stem. It is also a correct answer. In open vascular bundle, what you find? Between xylem and phloem, who is there? Cambium is there. Xylem, phloem, cambium is there. So in open vascular bundle, cambium is present in between xylem and phloem. It is also a correct statement. The vascular bundle of a dicot stem pauses in dark protoxylum. Of course, it is correct. What you report in the case of in dark protoxylum? Let me shift here. In in dark protoxylum, you find here it is the center, here it is the phloem, here it is the primary protoxylum, here it is metaxylum. So, when protoxylum is towards center, it is called in dark protoxylum. It is the characteristic feature of the what? A stem. You know it, na? Right? So, this one is also correct. This one is also correct. Now, it is a line of NCRT. E1. In monocotyledonous root, usually there are more than six xylem bundles are present. Direct line of the NCRT. Okay, see? You got the idea? Understand the idea? Okay. So, any options you are finding is wrong. All options are looking correct now. So if all op options are looking correct, no any option is given like here. Na? So this is a wrong framing. It is a wrong question. I also wasted my much time. Definitely I can understand children, your problem also. You definitely it is a time wasting one. Wrong answer is wrong. So children just wasted two minutes, three minutes in this question. Why I am doing wrong, wrong, wrong answer is not coming. I got it. You are not faulty here. Here the examiner is faulty. Two questions they did in botany like this. In one question they ask, you know, decreasing order, ascending order, and they have given descending order, kingdom to a species. You able to recall that question? It is in the question I will show you. They are asking what? Ascending order of the taxonomical hierarchy. No any option is given in ascending order. All options are given in which order? Descending order. So two mistakes this year. Okay, ji, right? So this is really a serious concern. In one year, people are making a paper and they are not able to make it error free. If 10, 20 paper you can make, there is a chances of error, but if one paper you must be error free. So now the next one, identify the correct set of the statement. What the first statement? The leaflet are modified into pointed hard thorn in citrus and bougainvillea. True or false? First option, question number 111. It is false or true? False. Why it is false? Convert it into true. For making it true, what you will do it? Who is modified into thorn in citrus and bougainvillea? It is not leaflet, then what? Axillary word. If it is written axillary word, then it become a correct answer. It is written leaflet in place of axillary word, and that's why this is a wrong answer. You got the idea? Is it clear? Now, second one. Axillary word from slender and spirally coiled tender in cucumber and pumpkin. It is true. Guards. Cucumber pumpkins are what? Guards. It is true. It is a line of NCRT. Now come on the next statement. Come on the next statement. Hmm. What happening?
हाँ नाउ कम ऑन द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट स्टेम इज फ्लैट एंड फ्लैश इन अपूंसिया एंड मॉडिफाइड टू परफॉर्म फंक्शन ऑफ लिप करेक्ट और इन करेक्ट सी ऑप्शन ट्रू और फॉल्स सी ऑप्शन ट्रू और फॉल्स इट इज ट्रू स्टेटमेंट वट इज द नेम ऑफ फ्लैट एंड एंड फ्लैसी अपूंसिया स्टेम वट इज द नेम यू टेल हरी अप से द नेम Flatted and flashy stem in Aponsia is called phylloclade. Good one. Good one, Sanvi. Another answer given by whom? It is not written. Okay, good one. Very good. It is called phylloclade. Rhizophora so vertically upward growing root that help to get oxygen for respiration. It is also true. These rhizophora grow in which area? Marshy area. They grow in which area? Marshy area. where there is a scarcity of the oxygen so they just grow some of the lateral root positive phototropic and they just perform the gaseous exchange there so e subaerially growing stem in grasses and strawberry help in vegetative propagation true or false it is true it is also true you keep one thing in your mind all the underground modification and subaerial modification have role in which one vegetative propagation which modification sub aerial and underground modification all like tuber corm rhizome bulb runner sucker stolon offset all are used in which one also vegetative propagation so i hope you can answer now such kind of question easily not only a strawberry all kind of underground and sub aerial modification have role in vegetative propagation so this is over now come on the next next question it is very easy line of n c e r t is it it or not very easy question na which of the following plant does not show plasticity i am asking a question from you people here it is answer is mentioned so no need to ask it do you know what is plasticity do you know what is plasticity change in phenotype physical appearance of the character is called what in same species two member are different from each other when they are growing in the different environment and it may be in some species juvenile is different from adult in their appearance morphology it is called what plasticity you got the idea so in ncert it is given two type of plasticity yeah it is two type of plasticity given one developmental means juvenile organism have a different appearance and adult have a different appearance and it is written which plasticity developmental plasticity how many example is given in ncert for development plasticity tell me children hurry up i just want to check how much you can recall it three example what are the name cotton coriander and larkspur is given in the example of which one cotton coriander larkspur it is given in developmental plasticity and what are given in environmental plasticity buttercup good one so who is not showing plasticity here mage it is a zero difficulty question or not agreed nothing in this question nothing in this question next question Clistiogamous flower are invariably autogamous. Are you agree? It is true or false? Clistiogamous are closed flower. They are autogamy only. Cross pollination is not possible because flower is closed. If flower is closed, how the pollen grain from different flower or different plant will come? It is not possible. 
right so the first statement is true now come on the second statement now come on the second statement and the second statement is cleistogamy is disadvantageous as there is no chance for cross pollination are you agree with it is it true or false true why it is true why it is disadvantageous when cross pollination not occur who will answer this question when cross pollination not occur what is the disadvantage of it yeah good one good one good one very good gayatri uh, which one uh, pujita reddy i think harshwi purli they, they are writing which one the good one see they avoid in breeding depression cross pollination avoid in breeding depression when continuous selfing occur it causes in breeding depression during in breeding depression what's happen quality and quality quantity loss occur so when cross pollination not occur who will increase chances of in breeding depression will increase and that is the reason it is disadvantageous good one very good answer very good answer right of course genetic variability will created good one good one very good keep it up next next question Girdling experiment was performed by plant physiologists to identify the plant tissue through which food is transported. It is answer is lined, underlined already. I just want to ask from you, what do you mean by girdling experiment? What we do during girdling experiment? Who will answer it? Ring is removed. removal of bark chenmai is saying ring is removed and some galaxy not written the name is saying removal of bark okay what do you mean by bark and how girdling experiment prove food transport occur through phloem i just want to know in girdling experiment we remove the bark what is bark removal of bark yes children please tell me what is bark who will tell me what is bark during girdling experiment we remove the bark what is bark i am telling you a very easy definition of bark everything outside of vascular cambium getting the things is called bark so what is the sequence of a different tissue layer system in a dicot stem outermost is epidermis then it is hypodermis then it is general cortex then it is endodermis then it is pericycle then it is phloem then it is cambium then it is xylem and centrally located pith so here is cambium when you are removing the bark everything from epidermis to phloem is removed means when we are removing the bark who get also removed phloem also get removed who not get removed xylem not get removed got the idea every side of uh, everything outside of the vascular cambium is called bark so when we are removing the bark who get removed phloem get removed so suppose that this is a tree trunk and i am removing the bark means i removed the phloem 
what i not removed pith i not removed xylem i not removed cambium i not removed so suppose that here it is leaf here it is leaf here it is root here photosynthesis occur food cannot transport up to the root why because here pipe is not no more there cut so here what happened food will deposited and bulging occur food will not reach in the root region but water can reach in the leaf region so who will die first root will die first because in root water is there but food is not transporting so who is going to die first root is going to die first why root is going to die first because of food is not transporting because phloem is not there and these are called girdling experiment and these experiment is proving transport of food occur through phloem because no phloem no food transport when we cut the phloem remove the phloem food transport will not occur you got the idea you got the idea so this is the girdling experiment and this is the question from the girdling experiment if you have idea about the girdling experiment there is no scope of making the mistake you got the idea so it is also done now a next question to check your patience hydrocolloid carrageenan is obtained from which one rodo fice it is a question from a table of ncert all three algae table is given or not there if you are doing it by heart there is no scope of making it wrong now i am making the question somehow twist and i am asking another question what is the role of this carrageenan in algae we use commercially as a hydrocolloid why this carrageenan is present in red algae what is the need of it we use for water holding algae use for which purpose what is the role in the algae algin carrageenan agar agar all obtained from the algae na agar agar obtained from which one gilidium and gracilaria why agar agar present in algae they they hold the water and prevent it from drying desiccation if this hydrocolloid not present in algae what happen algae get dried in the sunlight and they will die as they get completely dry they will die so they hold the water and keep it wet and protecting it from getting dried you got the purpose of it it don't have a role in photosynthesis it have a role in desiccation preventing from the drying and desiccation okay next next question ha uh, not a single question become more easy in genetics other than this question mendel studies seven pair of contrasting trait in pea plant and propose the law of inheritance is it true or false true seven character examined by mendel in his experiment on pea plants were seed shape and color flower position stem height etc it is also what correct got the idea right so these are the very easy theoretical question i think easiest question from genetics nothing there to explain now see from ethylene how many question this year two question one question we already discuss next question came from the same pgr plant growth regulator one paragraph of ncert two question two question production of cucumber has increased many fold in recent year application of which of the following phytohormone has resulted in the increase yield of the known as production of female flower who induce femaleness in flower cucumber who induce femaleness in cucumber ethylene and when femaleness will increase what happen production of cucumber will increase na we are eating which part Re female reproductive organ ovary ripe and ovary is the fruit na pericarp ovary is what female reproductive so when you spray zebralic acid sorry ethylene 
in cucumber female plant grow more femaleness induce more and when femaleness induce more productivity of crop increase you got the idea so it is the question it is a factual question basically from the line of the ncrt same pgr two questions <clears throat> next question how many of you did it correct it is a easy question from the which one protein synthesis the process of translation of mrna to protein begin as soon tell me the steps of translation leave the question what are the steps of protein synthesis first step of protein synthesis is activation of amino acid second step is charging of trna third step is translation in translation first step is initiation then elongation then termination and during initiation what happen during initiation what happen during initiation first of all these are the larger subunit these are the ribosome these ribosomal subunit dissociate they separate from each other after that smaller subunit bind with the messenger rna and this is the step so the small subunit of ribosome encounter with mrna and then there is what these are the initiation codon charge trna came here they carry which one amino acid and they bind with here then this is larger subunit will attach these are the sequence will process so first what's happen these 30s smaller subunit join with the so out of these given option four option this is the very first option which occur so these are from the steps of the protein synthesis nothing a difficult if you have idea about the now next question will taken care about by zoology sir or zoology ma'am whoever will dealing it so next question is easy question read the following statement and choose the set of correct statement it is damn easy question you did it u chromatin is loosely packed chromatin correct or incorrect true or false hurry up carry on you just simply give involvement everything become happen great u chromatin is loosely packed true correct heterochromatin is tightly packed densely packed heterochromatin is transcriptionally active wrong it is transcriptionally inactive it is not active who is active u chromatin is active third one histone octamer is wrapped by negatively charged dna in a nucleosome yes histone octamer is positive charge dna is negative charge it is correct it is incorrect histone are rich in lysine and arginine it is also correct it is also correct a typical nucleosome contain 400 base pair it is wrong of dna helix how much is it 200 base pair okay ji so it is wrong it so you choose the answer answer is available so if you know about the which one that paragraph nucleosome model euchromatin heterochromatin these answers will come very easily from the molecular genetics area next one next question will taken care about uh, zoology teacher it is based on the dna fingerprinting in your state zoology people look on that next question i also associated with zoology ecology in botany it is there in, uh, in other, all part of india ecology taken care by botany teacher other than in your state i think andhra telangana here botany is given, ecology is given in which one zoology topic which of the following never occur during mitotic cell division pairing of homologous chromosome occur during what meiosis yeah next class what are the schedule is there physics class is there right now so time up now hope i hope yeah so i am just uh, leaving the lecture after this question which of the following never occur during mitotic cell division pairing of homologous chromosome is the answer because pairing of homologous chromosome occur during which division meiosis rest occur during mitosis got the idea 
राइट जी ओके सो वॉट द रेस्ट वी विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वन क्लास मोर वी विल डिस्कस द पेपर दिस पेपर वी विल फिनिश एंड द प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर वी विल डिस्कस प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर विल मच इजी सो आई एम इन्वेस्टिंग मोर टाइम हियर ओके बिकॉज दिस इज रिसेंट ईयर गेटिंग द थिंग्स आर नॉट या चिल्ड्रेन आई विल टेक केयर ऑफ योर बॉटनी ओके जी ओके सो पेपर डिस्कशन वॉज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिसाइड ऑफ डेट इट इज सम हाउ बोरिंग वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट यू रियलाइज वेयर आई डिड वॉट मिस्टेक there was no scope of mistake but i did it so i just want to realize you by saying every line every word you reconnect yourself and check why i did this mistake every time you realize yourself in every question why i did this mistake is it a question really i deserve to do it wrong or i deserve to do it right if it become wrong why it become wrong you just realize every question like this okay ji bye bye thank you for listening carefully have a great day to all of you thank you very much thank you thank you thank you okay bye bye right yeah close it meanwhile